Here be dragons, from lizards to legends. That is the traveling exhibit at Roper Mountain Science Center. And Ashley Zalabak, environmental science and sustainability specialist, is here. You brought some of your friends, too, right? I did. I brought some live okay. animals with me today. We'll, we'll get into who's in the cooler and, and the cooler down here. But um, give us an overview that what might a group learn during this traveling exhibit you yeah. be dragons. Um, so summertime is my favorite time at Roper Mountain Science Center. Lots of action happening and we always have a traveling exhibit and this year it is going to be about dragons um, called Here Be Dragons from Lizards to Legends. So visitors will be able to experience dragons in a variety of different ways, how they're celebrated throughout the world um, from live animals to paleontology to Asian culture and also medieval times. You're telling me you've got scaly things. I do have some scaly okay. things, some dragon-like <laughs> animals, yep. We'll, we'll bring those out but one example of a hands-on thing, there is a mock dig for a variety of fossils. Let's get in here. What, what yeah, that's exactly on a larger right. so scale? On a much larger scale than this, yeah. there is actually going to be a paleontology aspect to the exhibit where visitors will be able to dig around with brushes like this and actually find fossils and learn about animals from our past, like dinosaurs. Excellent. There actually is a little dinosaur tooth in here somewhere. That's and, and this is thrilling because you love watching the kids get fired up. I mean, this is an adventure that, that they're having. Exactly. And they're accidentally learning at the same time. Is exactly. Always accidentally, yep. Um, lots of hands on. That's what we're all about at Roper Mountain Science Center. And this is actually a dinosaur bone, a real dinosaur bone. Fantastic. And every find and is a dinosaur thrilling. claw. Oh my That's goodness. That's right. <laughs> okay, so this is an experience kids are going to love to get into. And there's just something. The, the mythical element of the dragon. People are fascinated by this. That's right, yeah. And there's going to be this whole area about Asian culture and how it's celebrated in different cultures and religion around the world, um, and also medieval times. So a little puppet theater where the kids can act out their wow. the medieval time stories. Fantastic. <laughs> um, learn about dragons, yeah. Well, you have a fire-breathing dragon in that cooler, I did. Correct? I brought Let's a real what... dragon, okay. if you're up for it. I'm ready. Would you like to check out one of our real dragons? This is actually going to be one that is going to be on exhibit in um, the exhibit. Here be dragons. Oh, wow, look at him. And this is Smog. Smog actually is in our Harrison Hall building, so we uh -huh. will have a bearded dragon that is in the Here Be Dragons exhibit, along with five other live lizards. But this is actually an animal that has lived at Ripper Mountain for a long time in our Harrison Hall of Natural Science. And what building. do people learn about that animal? A beautiful shot <laughs> of this guy. So, I mean, he's scaly and gorgeous. And what do we learn? So, bearded dragons are a reptile. You know, they're called bearded dragons. Wow. We think about dragons as being mythical creatures, but this is kind of an example of a, yeah. a, a dragon-like animal, um, which are usually lizards. And he is a lizard, he's a reptile, he's very scaly. He's got this beard here, the bearded part um, is referring to that beard that sometimes will turn black if he feels nervous or threatened or is trying to entice a mate. But he's in a good mood now. He's in a pretty good mood, yeah. Look and he him. likes being passed around, okay? That's fine, yeah. Would you like to hold him? May I? <laughs> Thank you very much. He's pretty All chill. Right. He has been oh, yeah, at Rupper Mountain for a long time. <laughs> All right, this is my kind of friend. Sometimes the yeah. squirmy ones are a little hard to, to We've got a handle. One next, so okay. just, we'll work our way up. Are they friends? Should I leave this one in my arms? We'll or? put him back before we get the other one out. His okay. beard might start turning a little bit darker if he sees our other scaly friend. Another dragon <laughs> of some sort, I'm sure. Well, excellent. We will return him back to his lair right there. All right. He so, flies in. another kind of dragon like animal that you will be able to experience at mm -hmm. Ripper Mountain that also lives in the Harrison Hall building is. Our guy Ringo here. Ringo, hello Ringo. <laughs> a little bit more squirmy. Also a friend of a dragon. I see some similarities. That's right, yep. He is um, actually a yellow rat snake. Mm -hmm. And um, we have a variety of different snakes at Roper Mountain. So at, in Harrison Hall, you'll be able to experience a, lots of different animals, walk through a real rainforest, a marine lab with touch tanks, a lot of different snakes, some bigger ones as well. Um, but Ringo is just a juvenile, so a young yellow rat snake. And what happens when groups of kids are gathered around and you pull out this young rat snake? This <laughs> well, sometimes is, screams, yeah. <laughs> usually out of excitement. Um, most people are, are pretty curious about snakes. Some people obviously are afraid of snakes, but we try to kind of debunk some of those myths about these scary, scaly animals mm -hmm. that some people have some fears around. But he's pretty calm. He's doing great. Yeah, you said he was a little feistier, so uh, he, he's right there <laughs> doing great. But, but that's the idea. Everybody, uh, the kids come in, they have this encounter with an animal, and I 
now all of a sudden care about it and they want to learn more about exactly, it. Exactly. Yeah. to great things. What else is Roper Mountain Science Center offering as part of summer adventure? And we've got STEM days of summer. Anything else you want That's to know? That's exactly right. Yep. So June 1st through July 27th is when we have summer adventure going on. We're open Tuesday through Saturday from mm -hmm. 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. STEM days of summer are an exciting part of summer adventure um, where we have our community partners come in and have a variety of different hands-on activities from robotics to chemistry and all sorts of stuff. It keeps, uh, keeps kids excited to learn all year. We love this. Thank you so much for being here and bringing our dragon You're friends. welcome. Thank we you so much for it. having me. People learn more all about the programs and Roper Mountain Science Center. Tickets for all the events are purchased online and we'll have that link on accesscarolina.com.